One of the most well-known natural sites in Egypt is the Nile River and the Pyramids of Giza. They are some of the most identifiable structures of former civilizations. Because of these ancient relics, you could even call Egypt the country of the pyramids. However, despite the fact that Egypt has a lot of old pyramids, scientists have found new and scary things there over and over again. The new discoveries discovered by Egyptian scientists in this video are going to change everything, so make sure you don't miss it. History Despite the fact that Egypt's kings and languages have changed throughout the centuries, the country still survives today as an intriguing nation with a distinctive modern-day culture. It is not an exaggeration to say that Egypt is one of the oldest civilizations in the world. It left behind a variety of memorials, records, and artistic creations in its wake. Scholars are still delving into these works of art today. However, despite the fact that Egypt is one of the oldest civilizations in the world, ancient Egyptians engaged in commerce with people from all over the world, exchanging goods, faiths, foodstuffs, and ideas. There were times when Egyptian control extended beyond its current borders, and the frontier covered what is now the country of Sudan, Cyprus, Lebanon, and Syria. With the rise of Israel and Palestine to the status of global power, Egypt was also attacked in the past by other countries, such as the Persians, the Nubians, Greece, and Rome. Throughout the course of its history, Egypt has been referred to by a variety of names. The ancient term Kemet, which means the dark country, is one of the most well-known. However, researchers believe that the names come from the rich soil that was left behind after the construction of the dam rather than from the people's skin tone. The national soccer team of the country has decided to honor the past monarchs of the country by playing under the name pharaohs. It is customary to use the phrase peria, which translates to the great house. While talking about Egypt's pharaohs, the first person to use the name as part of a royal title was Thutmose III, who ruled from 1479 to 1425, before the Common Era. It is not known when exactly the earliest early humans arrived in Egypt for the first time. Some of these migrations may have utilized Egypt as a route to Asia. How and when ancient Egypt was unified remains a matter of controversy. One idea is that two kingdoms, Upper and Lower Egypt, were formed from lesser nations and eventually merged artwork depicting pharaohs and sarcophagi. There have been either 31 or 39 dynasties in Egypt, and the monarchs of each of these are classified into several historical periods. Most hieroglyphics depict the sounds of consonants, while others forcefully emphasize vowels that were used in the spoken language of ancient Egypt. Secret Room Imagine moving into a house and finding a hidden room within another. The Giza Pyramid secret room is one of the most perplexing discoveries in recent years. The Scan Pyramids project, which utilizes technology for discovering voids in massive monolithic complexes that detect cosmic rays, was the one responsible for making this discovery. This experiment in muon radiography collects low-energy subatomic particles that are emitted by the high-energy cosmic radiation that is constantly being beamed at our planet from space. Muons go through the screen of your smartphone at the rate of a half a dozen every second. This is the first large-scale inner structure to be unearthed in ancient Egypt pyramid since the 1800s. It was discovered here. The Great Pyramid conceals a deck of cards close to its chest, demonstrating that even when we believe we know everything, there's always more to learn. Giza Pyramids Many people consider the pyramids of Egypt to be among the most impressive man-made monuments ever built. People in ancient Egypt thought of pharaohs as a species that was halfway between humans and gods. The gods themselves appointed the mediators on earth to act as mediators. Kingly ties were so strong in Egypt that the pyramids rounded and angled sides resembled the sun and were meant to assist the rulers in rising to the top. According to Egyptian mythology, the king's spirit ascends to the heavens to join the gods, particularly the Ra god. King Khufu's tomb is said to be its final resting place, 
and it is 140 meters high and 230 meters long. A subterranean room appears to be incomplete, and the King's Chamber and Queen's Chamber may be the only other chambers in the Giza Pyramid that have been discovered so far. The Grand Gallery is a 47 meter long hallway that leads to the King's Chamber. Scientists are looking at the interior of a pyramid to determine if the researchers were at a loss for words when it came to describing what was going on in this secret chamber, which was located on an obviously exceptional plane. There is a chance that it is a tomb, but it could also be a gold mine. However, it seems that they were unable to reach the huge void, so it must be precisely like it was when it first came out. Those aren't the only mysteries that have been found in ancient Egypt, but they aren't for the faint of heart either. Construction workers uncovered a tomb made of black granite containing a mummy called Jute. A new residential complex in the old Mediterranean port city has been under construction for the past 16 years. It is now located feet below the surface. Unbearable visions quickly spread throughout the internet after images of the 2,000-year-old burial chamber were posted there. There were three dismembered carcasses floating in a murky soup, and many locals were anxious to bottle and sell the mummy juice because they believed it had magical or curative properties. This led to the discovery of the mummies. People who were concerned about it thought its peculiar color would indicate that it contained mercury, and this was despite the fact that there were concerns that smashing up the gigantic black granite casket might release an ancient curse. Egyptian antiquities experts say that one of the skulls may have been damaged by a probable arrow, which indicates that the bones were likely those belonging to an adult male. The sarcophagus was found broken open, and many people thought it would contain the bones of Alexander the Great, who built the city. However, according to the Supreme Council of Antiquities, General Secretary, this is not the case. The concept may be that mummy juice had magical overtones at the time, as if it weren't bad enough that it was the elixir of life or red mercury, but the authorities say it's something much more mundane and unimportant now. Sewage water is actually quite pleasant. Water from the building adjacent to the one containing the coffin had leaked into it, partially decomposing the remains inside. However, this particular coffin is either a fabrication or is free of the curse. It is possible that our ancestors possessed similar light-producing devices, according to recent discoveries in Egypt. Dendera Light Depending on who you question about this topic, some believe that the Egyptians utilized electric lamps over a thousand years before Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. The temple of the goddess Hathor and Dendera is home to some of the world's most impressive examples of ancient sculptures and hieroglyphics that have been preserved in their original state. One particularly insignificant part, though, stands out from the others. It seems to depict something that can only be described as fundamental illumination. There is a cable that travels along the floor to a lotus base, which is attached to a large glass container that has a filament that resembles a snake and a sign that looks suspiciously like a crook. This apparatus was utilized in the early findings of cathode rays and electron streams. A Norwegian electrical specialist was the one who first recognized the parallels, and nearby inscriptions mentioning the light of the Creator God lend credibility to this theory. That's it for today. Which part of the video did you find most interesting? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.